welcome to a weekly vlog. So it is Monday and I filmed myself this morning getting ready to go out for a run. Then I did my run, I came back and I got washed up and I immediately just started working. So, and I haven't picked up the camera till now. So it's after my full work day. I'm getting ready to make some dinner before my husband Ben gets home. It is September 16th today and we're kind of getting into the fall festivities. It's getting a little bit colder outside, just a little bit, not really that much. It's still like in the high 70s. But I'm really getting excited for fall and starting to do some fall things. Like this weekend, my mom and I went to get mums and I wanna plant those. And I got a little bit of some extra fall decorations that I want to put up. And I feel like this week I'm going to be starting to do some fall things. So I want to play at my mom's. I want to decorate generally outside. I'm not sure if I'll be able to decorate inside this week. I would really like to, but we're in the process of renovating our home. As you can see behind me, it's like an unfinished home behind me. Um, so... Yeah, we still have to do some things to finish renovating it, mainly um, putting in the trim, like the woodwork. The main place where I put decorations is in the living room, and our living room just kind of looks a little bit like a disaster right now. <laughs> There's just like a lot of boxes in here. Um, the TV needs to be mounted, and it just looks kind of barren. So I don't know if this is the right vibe to be putting up decorations, but I may just do it anyway because you only live once and who knows when our place is gonna look, you know, done enough for me to decorate. So I may just decorate anyway. I'm in the mood for like a cozy, homey week with fall vibes. So if you're up for that, stick around. <laughs> Anyway, the other reason that I was inspired to do this weekly vlog was because one, I just filmed um, our week at the beach over Labor Day weekend. So I kind of got back into the vlogging thing and I'm like, I kind of miss that. So I wanted to do that. But also now that we're moved into our house, vacation's over, we've done most of the renovations in here. I feel like you know, throughout that whole process, I kind of lost my groove of like my habits, you know, eating well, doing my exercises. So I said this weekend, this week, I'm going to start a new, a new season of fall, new me, <laughs> not new me, returning to old me and my old habits, <laughs> just like a fresh start. So yeah, I wanted to get back into doing my exercising regularly this week, making my dinners. I just figured if I was filming this week, that would hold me accountable to keep that going. So yeah, welcome to the weekly vlog. I'm gonna start making dinner now. I'm gonna make a honey sriracha salmon with rice and broccoli. It's actually super, super easy to make. Come along with me. Okay, so change of plans. <laughs> ben just got home and he reminded me that we had leftover stuffed peppers that my mom gave me yesterday, which I totally forgot about. So I want to eat those instead of making salmon. They're still pretty healthy, you know, just stuffed peppers, not that bad. Um, but yeah, I'm just not going to be making any dinner. So good for me, not good for the content of this vlog. Here are the stuffed peppers. My mom usually serves them with rice, but I was too lazy to make rice. And Ben doesn't eat rice anyway, so... There we go. <laughs> All right, we ate our stuffed peppers. They were very good. Now Ben and I are gonna go on a walk around the neighborhood. It's like 74 degrees out right now. And it seems like a nice calm night. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're back from our walk now, and it's about 7.30, and Ben and I are gonna go to Walmart to get some potting soil so I can plant my mums. And I also need some gardening soil to plant them in the mm. ground as well. And I need to return a Target order because I ordered two fall Stanleys. One was a pumpkin spice Stanley from Stanley's website, and the other was this brownish orange Stanley from Target, I think it's called like Magnolia brand or something like that. 
And I think I'm gonna like the pumpkin spice one more. I found that after I ordered the brown one from Target. So I'm returning the brown one from Target. It's cute, but I think I just like the pumpkin spice one more. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Got that potty mix. There it is. Hi guys, it is Wednesday now. It's after my work day. I think I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing the other day. <laughs> I've basically been wearing this shirt every day this week. It's from Aerie, in case you're wondering. It's very comfortable and like perfect for the in-between weather where it's like hot and cold at the same time, you know? Anyway, I didn't film anything yesterday because not much was going on. I didn't do my workout yesterday morning, but my goal this week was to do three workouts this week. So I'm still on track for that because I did a workout this morning and I plan on doing another workout on Friday. And by workout, I mean running. <laughs> and by running, I mean partially running. <laughs> So I feel like I've talked about this before like a couple years ago where I did Couch to 5K and I've done Couch to 5K like on and off since then but the thing about running is if you don't consistently do it like if you don't keep up with it you kind of lose it a little bit. You don't lose it entirely but it's just like like I can't go back to running a half hour straight after I haven't ran <laughs> consistently for like, I don't know, a couple months, like two or three months I haven't been running consistently. So I started back up with the Couch to 5K and started on week four this week, which is the halfway point. Um, it's an eight week long program. So it's like running for five minutes, walking for three minutes, running for three minutes, walking for two minutes I can't remember it's like interchanging between running for five minutes and running for three minutes with walking breaks in between anybody who knows about couch to 5k I feel like week four is the week where you kind of really notice that it gets harder so I just thought you know I haven't ran for a couple of months let's see if I can start at week four and if I can do that then I'll probably be good to keep on going um, to week eight and if I feel like I can even push it To just immediately go to a week eight, which is running for 30 minutes Then I can do that. Anyway, if this turned into a boring conversation about numbers and running What was I talking about? Yes, we're still on track for this week for exercise Yesterday for dinner. I actually did make that salmon that I was about to make the other night and realized I had leftovers. So I made that salmon. We're gonna eat the leftover salmon tonight for dinner. And then tonight, I kinda wanna get started with my decorating outside for fall. So I want to plant some of my mums. I'm probably not gonna plant the ones in the ground, but I'll definitely plant the ones in the pots. And then maybe get started on like some outdoor Halloween decorations. I got a couple of things to decorate outside for Halloween. So I got like purple and orange lights that I can string up. I got these pumpkin lights that you put in the yard, like on the walkway. And I got some corn stalk. I got, I have my mom's, I have pumpkins. So yeah, I just want to kind of get my decorating started. I also ordered these like hanging ghosts to put in a tree we have out front that light up. And I got them on Amazon for $20 for three of them. And I'm really excited to see what they look like because I love ghosts. <laughs> like, I love how cute they are. Although these ones are kind of scary and not cute. I guess they're kind of in between. But yeah, I love ghosts for Halloween and I think they'll look cool like hanging in the tree with the lights and everything. So that's my plan for tonight is to kind of get started on that. We'll see how much time I have left to do that. The other thing that I wanted to tell you about or to show you guys is that I ordered the pumpkin spice Stanley. I just realized that they had it the other day because I was like, hmm, I have a pink Stanley now, but I was like, maybe I can find a fall related one. So I did a Google search and I found this pumpkin spice Stanley on their website and it came in the mail the other day. There it is. <laughs> it's not really focusing. And there it is <laughs> in all its glory. Um, so yeah, it's like kind of like a terracotta orange color. And then it has this, there we go. It has this gold, like a dark gold finish on the Stanley marking and on the rim and then it has like a chocolatey color top 
and straw. I love it. I think it's so cute. And it's a good replacement for my pink one in the fall. Probably use it in the winter too, let's be honest. Earlier in this week, I think I was saying that I ordered one from Target that I returned. Um, that one, I wish I showed you before I returned it actually. It was like more of a brownish color and it had like a detailing on it. And I thought it was really cute too, but choosing between the two, I can't have them both. <laughs> choosing between the two, I liked this one better. So I got this one. I've been using it all day. I also really liked the packaging it came in. It came in this nice box with the gold touches. Just so fancy. I am going to get started now with reheating the salmon dish uh, so that Ben and I can eat it tonight and then get started on our decorating after we Hi guys, it's Thursday now. I apologize for not filming anything yesterday. <laughs> I reheated the dinner and we ate and my friend ended up calling me so I FaceTimed with her for like a couple of hours and didn't plant my mom's, didn't do anything else, just basically relaxed all night. So <laughs> sorry about that. I promise I'm going to give you actual content today and for the rest of the week. Actually, I was just talking to Ben um, about his cousin is coming in this weekend and we plan on like going to the Renaissance Festival with him, which to me I associate with fall because it's um, at the end of August and into September. So we usually go to that every year. I mean, we've gone to it probably three times now. So it's not like an annual thing we do, but we go to it, you know, most years. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing that this weekend with him. As I said, I'm actually going to plant my mom's tonight. So there's that. And I am going to decorate the outside for Halloween. Whether or not I'll do that tonight, or another day this week i mean today's thursday so i only have a couple of other days to do it but that's my plan so we'll see what happens right now ben is on his way home and i am going to be making chicken fajitas for dinner so i figured i could take you along while i make that and maybe have like a little chatty session while i'm cooking let's see where i can set you up oh i forgot to show you too i have my ghost sweatshirt on because i'm getting festive as i was saying earlier i don't like how my hair looks today so just ignore that it's like too curly i don't know too springy or something anyway i have my ghost sweatshirt on I still have shorts on though because it's 80 something degrees out right now but i wanted to get into the festive season and when i have this ghost sweatshirt on that signifies to me that we're in the fall we're in autumn halloween is approaching and we're getting there okay this is a bad spot for this so let me move it all right i think this is gonna have to do for while i'm cooking okay so i have my cutting board here i'm making chicken fajitas as i said so i'm cutting up the peppers and onions right now here they are and i'm pulling up the recipe now but i figured i could just chat a little bit about what's going on in life. I haven't done vlogs of just my daily life for a couple of years. The last vlog I uploaded was from our honeymoon in Paris, which was uh, two years ago. And then before that is when I was actually doing my kind of more daily lifestyle type vlogs. And at that point, I kind of left it off with coming out of the pandemic. The pandemic may have still been happening actually. Yeah, I think it was still happening at the time in 2021. I was starting to get into like exercising and eating healthier and trying to lose weight basically because during the pandemic, I just entered these really unhealthy habits um, that are really easy to slip into and really hard to get out of. I gained like 20 pounds and since then, I've lost 20 pounds, which is really nice. But looking back on it, it's really, um, odd looking back on it because i'm like wow i was 20 pounds heavier there just starting to get into exercising and eating healthier and i feel like since then i've maintained it pretty well doing my exercising making dinners staying in my healthy habits i've had periods of like 
a couple of months like i said i kind of lost my exercising over the past couple of months because of everything going on and that's happened on and off since 2021 till now so that's been like three years but um i always pick it back up and i'm able to get back into it it's not like i'm starting from nothing <laughs> so i whenever i pick it up it's kind of like comes to you easier and i feel like I need my knife. <laughs> I feel like looking back on it, the hardest part was just getting started and getting into the new habit. When you first start exercising, particularly the eating healthier thing kind of comes more easily to me than the exercise did. But when you first start exercising and you haven't done it for so long or you've never done it before, in my case, I've never really exercised. The only time I did exercise was like in high school when I did dance and like I was in marching band and stuff like that. I was picking it up for the first time and it's hard on your body to get used to it. It's hard to get the habit started because it sucks when you start it and it feels bad. Like it feels like you don't want to do it. Your body seems like it's rejecting it. It is not like a pleasant experience when you first start. I think the key, looking back on it, is to do it enough, just kind of suck it up in the beginning and just keep doing it knowing that eventually you're going to feel good when you do the exercise. Like, I know people say that and people said that before I started this and I just kind of rolled my eyes because I'm like, there's no way you can feel good exercising because this just sucks. But really, once your body gets used to it and it doesn't feel like hell every time you do it <laughs> it does actually start to feel good so people are not lying unfortunately so now it's easier to maintain the habit because your body kind of like actually craves doing the exercise once you get used to it because it does make you feel good and so yeah i just looking back on it i, I just think it's funny watching <laughs> Um, my earlier videos when I was first starting exercising because I remember how I just did not want to do it <laughs> and now I like try to find ways to do it and I feel better when I do it and I know I'm going to feel better when I do it so yeah my mindset has just changed a lot on that but at the same time you know I got to give myself grace for the choices that I did make that kind of got me into that situation during the pandemic because it was a crazy time back then and it was really sad and stressful and it was just like a crazy world. And so that is definitely what triggered me and I feel like it triggered a lot of people to kind of like go out of control with my eating. I did a lot of like soothing with eating, eating Oreos, like Oreos were my favorite thing at that time which is probably <laughs> why I uh, gained so much weight so fast ultimately the goal now for me is not to like it's not like a weight thing it's not to lose weight or to maintain weight it's really to like maintain like my mental health and like just overall healthiness because I do um, feel better I don't mean like feel better in terms of like feel better about myself because I look better or something superficial like that I just internally feel better when I do all of these things so yeah that's my little spiel on that I just wanted to kind of fill in the gap there of the couple of years between the last time I was consistently vlogging and now it was a uh, kind of a dark time kind of dark time but we made it through better days were ahead and we're in them now so here we go making chicken meatas <laughs> also since then i've gotten a new job where it is so much less stressful it's like the ideal attorney job and i work from home every day so that has removed so much stress from my life as well like it's been amazing. So all of those positive changes have happened since the last time I was vlogging my daily life. I'm very grateful for where I am now because the life I have now is just so much better. <laughs> and I regularly look back on those times just to compare between now and then and it makes me so much more appreciative of what I have now. So I'm thankful that those times happened. 
but you know, never want to see them again. before I put it in the oven. So I just cut up all the vegetables. It's two green peppers, one red pepper, and a large yellow onion. And then I cut up about a pound of chicken. And you mix up a bunch of different spices with olive oil. I can put the recipe below if anyone wants it, but, oh, that's my oven ready. Um, but yeah, you mix up the spices and then you just toss the spices with the olive oil in with all of this. It's really, very easy to do it's just cutting up the stuff that takes time but then you put it in the oven for I think 45 minutes and it's good to go Ben is home now the fajitas are in the oven and as I said we're in the process of renovating our house and the project that Ben is working on currently is the powder room and so uh, yeah it's it's in a state of renovation <laughs> But at this step, Ben just asked me which doorknob, cabinet knob? Yeah, it's a cabinet knob. Looks better on the vanity. So here is the powder room. So far, the light is being moved up because it's too low. So that's next on the list. Okay, but here are the knobs. Which do I like better? It's hard for me to tell. I don't know. I think the one on the left is a little bit too gold, but in the camera, it looks better. The problem isn't the gold color of the left one to me. The, the problem is the shine. chrome shine, yeah. It's a polished brass. Yeah. I kind of like that about it, but I need, I need to take a minute to think about this. Okay, we talked it through a little bit and we chose the right one over the left. It matches better and it's not shiny. I thought I liked the shine, but I don't like it now that I'm looking at it all together because everything else does not have that shine. Yeah, that's the update on the powder room. We have the towel rack here that we got. I got this from Amazon. I actually got this from Amazon too. The vanity. It's from Home Depot. And then the toilet paper holder, also from Amazon. And then this mirror is from Wayfair. And the light is from Amazon. And Ben's about to do some sort of work. <laughs> change the knobs out. Huh? Just changing the knobs out. Oh, okay. A man at work. Elvis is down here now. Hi! What's going on? Here are the finished fajitas. I'm gonna put some cheddar cheese on them. And then I have our tortillas over here, ready to go. All right, we're done eating now. It was very tasty. And it's approaching, um, I was gonna say it's approaching eight o'clock, but it's like 7.20 right now. And the problem I've been running into this week, every night that I say I'm gonna do my mom's and I don't, is that it's starting to get dark now at like eight o'clock. So every time I make dinner and then we eat dinner, clean up, it's like approaching eight o'clock every day and it's starting to get dark. But I'm gonna get out there now and plant my mom's, at least the ones in the pots, and like arrange my pumpkins outside. And I think that'll be enough for today. in the pots at least it progressively got darker actually it got darker pretty quickly while I was out there so I didn't film that much I filmed a little bit of me 
planting them. But also, I got these solar pumpkin lights that I want to, there, light up. I got them from Party City and I want to put them on the walkway out front. I think I said that before already. I honestly can't remember. Um, yeah, I want to put them on the walkway up front and I might do that now. I'm going to open them up and see how complicated it sounds. I'm assuming not very complicated. This is more complicated than I thought it was going to be. But I can do it. All right, did that. And this connects to this. Ta-da! Did it. There we go. Now I just gotta do that for all of them. Ben is cutting up my corn stalk. I'm gonna put it on that lamp post. Okay guys, as you can see in the footage I took, I put up What's that? some of my decorations. I'm doing my vlog. Oh Jesus, you're scared the shit out of me. I put up a lot of my decorations. You can see from my window here, my pumpkin lights, if it will focus. There they are, my pumpkin lights. <laughs> out my window. But now, it is time for me to go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow. Friday. It's later on now. I'm done working. Ben and I just ate leftover fajitas. And now we're going to have a bonfire. We have, we're having a fire, right? To have a bonfire with his cousin who is in town visiting and his sister who is also my friend. <laughs> and so that's what we're going to do. I don't know how much of it I'm going to film, but we'll see. <laughs> I got my pumpkin spice cold brew. It's so delicious. I think this is my favorite Starbucks drink to ever exist. It just tastes like Thanksgiving morning to me because the top tastes like pumpkin pie and the bottom obviously is just plain cold brew. And it just reminds me of every Thanksgiving in the morning. I have a cup of coffee and a piece of pumpkin pie with my coffee and that's exactly what this tastes like. Brings me to that moment. Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday, so this drink just gives me all the good vibes. Eloise keeps meowing at me because I don't think she understands why I'm talking. <laughs> so she wants to talk back to me. We're just here by ourselves. Ben had to work today, so he got up early, which is kind of why I also got up early, just because he was moving around and it kind of woke me up. We went to bed last night at like 1 a.m., 
which to me is really late. Like, <laughs> I actually don't like staying up late now because like right now I kind of feel a little bit like crap and I don't like that feeling. And also I'm just, I feel like my body is used to a rhythm of going to bed and getting up now since you know I work every day at the same exact time and I do the same thing every day so my body's just gotten used to it but yeah I'm I'm getting old I don't like staying up late anymore <laughs> but we did and it was good because it was fun and I really like hanging out at the bonfire it's the beginning of the fall season you get all those cozy vibes it was very fun I just took one little clip there um, of us sitting at the fire but it was a really good time. Like I said, Ben's working today. I'm going to probably go back to my bed and drink this pumpkin cream cold brew. And I got a bacon and egg Gouda sandwich, so I'm gonna eat that. First, I'm going to work on finishing a beach vacation vlog that I took of my family vacation this year, which was over Labor Day weekend. So I'm gonna finish editing that. And then after that, I planned on actually planting the mums that I have into the ground <laughs> where I want to plant them um, which is just out front in a couple of places and then I wanted to work on getting my Halloween decorations up like the rest of them up outside I have some orange lights to go on trees some orange and purple lights to go on another tree and I have like pumpkin garland to go around my door and um, a wreath so I wanted to work on that today. I don't know if I really feel up to it to do it by myself. Since we moved, I have to actually find the boxes first and foremost. So I don't know where they are really. I have to unload the stuff. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to put lights on one of the trees by myself, but I may be able to do the smaller trees by myself. So. We'll see what happens. Also, I may just end up taking a nap because I woke up earlier today than I wanted to, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. But for now, I'm gonna finish drinking this pumpkin cream cold brew mm. and continue on with my day. Also, just as a side note, if you've noticed, like there's something weird with my eye over here, <laughs> my right eye. Um, that's because there is. I have some sort of weird, like, inflammation of my eyelid that I went to Med Express for this week. And I got, I got, like, a little ointment to put on it. So, I was just thinking about it. If I look weird in some of these clips, especially with no makeup on, because you can see it, then, you know, that's why I'm aware of the situation. It's being taken care of. Don't you worry. <laughs> But yeah, just thought I'd throw that in there. Hi guys, it's later on now. I finished editing the beach vlog and now I'm just sitting down getting ready to do my makeup and my hair and I thought I could just do a little get ready with me segment. I can't open my makeup bag. <laughs> Still sipping on my coffee. I thought I could just go through the plans for today and for the rest of this weekend. Just have a little chat while I'm getting ready. As I said earlier, today the plan is for me to plant my mums. I feel like I've said that a million times in this vlog. The main focus of this vlog has been getting my mums planted. I just used this It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow on my nose and like on this area under my eye just to add a little bit of a glow. Sometimes I put this on all over my face, but it can like get a little bit too oily, so yeah, I don't usually put it all over my face anymore. Instead, I use this Bare Minerals Matte Powder. I always go back to powder foundation over liquid foundation because I have a lot of like acne scarring on my face. And no matter what I try, I just feel like the powder foundation looks the best over the scarring and emphasizes it the least. So yeah, I just keep coming back to Bare Minerals um, for my foundation and then for my concealer I use NARS radiant creamy concealer so anyway as I said earlier Ben's cousin is in visiting today or this weekend and Ben is pretty close with him because they lived together for a few years with his aunt who is his cousin's mom his cousin's name is chick well he prefers to be called Charles now but because we've called him Chick his whole life, we all still call him Chick, which is probably not the nicest thing, but 
it's just hard to call someone a different name than what you've been calling them your whole life. Eloise has come up here with me and I don't want her to be because my curling iron is up here and it's hot. I put her laser on behind me so hopefully that distracts her. And later on when Ben gets done working, we're gonna go eat with him and Ben's sister Mariah. And then we're going to go to a brewery that's around here and hang out there. It's, it's nice there because they have um, like fires that you can build outside. So we'll probably have another fire. And I know they'll probably have their fall beers, which will be nice because I really like their Oktoberfest. So we're gonna do that tonight. And then tomorrow we are going to go to the Renaissance Festival during the day which should be nice the brewery that we're going to had a halloween party a couple of years ago that we went to at the time and they had a costume contest and ben and i went as edward scissorhands and i went as winona Ryder's character i don't even remember her name kim kim is her name in the movie and um ben made like the scissor hands um, for the part of his costume and we ended up winning the costume contest which was pretty cool and we got a gift card to go there and everything it was really neat but the past couple of years or maybe just last year they didn't have it and so I'm really hoping that they have it again this year because it was a lot of fun the location of the brewery itself feels Halloweeny and is fall like so it's just a nice atmosphere for a Halloween party but yeah I hope they have it again that would be really cool for the Renaissance festival I know a lot of people dress up to go to the festival and I was thinking about dressing up this time but I don't think I'm going to especially since I'm pretty sure it's going to be hot I don't think I'm going to I think I'm just gonna go in normal clothes also next weekend Ben and I have a camping trip planned over the weekend that's like tent camping at a state park near us and so ugh, my hair like what is going on with me today i don't like how i look today anyway we tent camped already in the beginning of the summer in june for the first time i got ben a tent for his birthday and then like had a surprise trip planned like on his birthday weekend and so we tent camped for the first time and it was really fun i liked it more than i thought i would but you know honestly we're not doing camping like we're not roughing it when we go camping <laughs> like we are in a tent but i had a an air mattress that we slept on that had like sheets and bedding on it they have an electrical outlet at the campsite so like I had an electric tea kettle to make our coffee in the morning. We made steaks. We made like hot dogs. We had a cooler with all different types of drinks in it. And you know, we weren't really rough in it. Also the campground has a public bathroom that you can use for showers and for an actual toilet. And so, <laughs> yeah it's it was actually a lot of fun and really nice and we really enjoyed it and so we've been wanting to go again and we plan to go again over the summer but it was just not happening like i booked it on two other weekends previously in the summer and something ended up happening that created a conflict so i just kept moving it so i moved it to next weekend and we should be able to go next weekend but I'm excited now because it's like the beginning of fall. It's gonna be not really hot. It'll be chilly at night and we can have a fire. I feel like the theme of, the other theme of this video besides the moms is bonfires. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I have to blow my nose. I need to take my allergy medicine. It's kind of hard with renovating the house and trying to live our lives at the same time because like next weekend we're both excited to go camping but at the same time we're both kind of like i feel like we should just stay home and do the things that need to be done here but i don't want our life to just come to complete halt because of the renovations that we have to do and i know that we'll get them done 
because it's not major things that we have left to do. But yeah, there is some guilt associated <laughs> with going on the trip next week, but I'm still looking forward to it. Anyway, moving on to my hair. My hair, I do not really like it at the moment, honestly. I haven't been liking it for a while. I'm getting it cut next week, it's way too long. Um, also, I know that the middle part is in now, but I really, I've tried the middle part now for like a year and I just don't think I like it on myself. I know that it's what's trendy, but I don't think it looks good with my face shape or something. I don't know. Anytime I see a picture of myself, or I'm sure I'll look back on this and see the video of myself with the middle part, I don't like how I look. So... <laughs> I think I'm gonna start going back to my side part again because I gave it a good year's worth try and it just wasn't working out for me. You gotta do what looks good on you. And that's, I think the side part looks better on me. I'm gonna curl my hair now and probably speed this process up to do like a time lapse because I feel like I've been talking for too long now. So, go into the time lapse. All right, hair is curled. Now I need to brush it out. A little bit of hairspray. Hair. It's done. Do you see what I mean though? Like I just feel like the middle part doesn't look good on me. Like my head is too pointy or something. I don't know, but it's what we're going with today. Hi guys. Sunday now. I realized that yesterday I had high expectations for my day and I wanted to <laughs> plant my mums and everything like that. But yet again, I did not plant my mums. Basically, the downfall of my day was that pumpkin cold brew because I drank it and I felt pretty good and it was tasty. And then like an hour later, it all went downhill. It just made me like super anxious and kind of feeling sick to my stomach. And yeah, I just didn't do anything the rest of the day <laughs> until we went to the brewery, which I took a clip um, at the brewery last night that you should have seen. But yeah, that was kind of a fail. But it's Sunday now and <laughs> we are getting ready to go to the Renaissance Festival. Um, I kind of dressed up like a little bit. I really just am going for a general vibe of the Renaissance Festival and not really in a renaissance outfit, if that makes sense. Here's my outfit. Ignore my bed back there because it's not made, but this is what I went with. I have this plaid skirt, some boots, and this like sweatery type of short sleeve top, top. Short sleeve top. I can't speak today. But yeah, this is my renaissance outfit. Yeah, it's like 85 degrees out today, so hopefully we don't die out there, but should be fun. See you there. vlog 
here's me ending the vlog. We had a great time at the Renaissance Festival. I actually ended up buying a skirt there, which was only $35, which was why I bought it in the first place, because I was like, this is actually a pretty good deal, and I'll get to wear this next time we come. Or I could even wear it like as a Halloween costume or something like that. So I got that. I think I have a picture of it. If I do, I'll insert it here. And then the rest of that day, I just went to my family's house and we had family dinner and stuff like that, which is typical of a Sunday for me. But yeah, I just wanted to end the vlog here. I'm sorry that I never planted my mums in the ground as I had planned on doing all week long and I didn't do my outdoor Halloween decorations, but I'll make sure I do those in another video for you in the future. But for now, I'm gonna leave this here and I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. It was more of a chatty vlog than anything else, but getting back into the swing of vlogging regularly. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.